Time to talk about a topic which we can't seem to ignore. Let me introduce a character which is both the hero and the villain in this next story. It's constantly making headlines. It's making most jobs redundant. It is an uninvited guest to most parties. It makes its way into most conversations and debates today. It talks back and how. And like most arrogant people, it's not always right. I'm talking about the new age AI chatbot. I'm sure you've all heard of ChatGPT, the most popular chatbot in class, the one who claims to know everything. It can write a thesis on Shakespeare. It can wax eloquent about a historical event. It can even teach you a thing or two about art. There's more. You all know what's tomorrow, right? The 14th of February, Valentine's Day. Are you feeling too lazy to profess your love to your Valentine, lacking originality? Worry not. A new report says that 62% of Indian men plan to use ChatGPT to write Valentine's Day love letters. Let's talk about another chatbot, Bing. A woman tried to ask Bing to write a cover letter for a job application. It said that it would be unethical and unfair to participants. So what did she do? Move over, Bing, there's another chatbot for the job. One who wrote a 200 word cover letter in less than a minute. We don't know if she got the job though. Be a chat GPT, Bing, Bard. AI chatbots are everywhere. They are being dubbed the future of everything. But no, they're not always right. And when they make a mistake, boy, it's a big one, a costly one. Who can forget about the Bard's big blunder? We told you about it earlier on Gravitas. Bard, it happens to be Google's attempt at countering competition in the AI space. The Bard, which roughly means storyteller, got its facts all wrong. The software shared inaccurate information in a promotional video, and this wasn't a silly mistake. It cost Google's parent company Alphabet a whopping $100 billion in market value. Imagine that, one mistake from a chatbot and $100 billion are wiped off your market value overnight. And as if this wasn't a cautionary tale against the mindless use of artificial intelligence, there's more. The Google search boss has come out with a warning against chatbots. He warns of a phenomenon called hallucination in AI. Yes, a hallucinating chatbot where a machine provides a convincing but entirely fabricated answer. Let me repeat that. A chatbot can convince you of a reality which does not exist. Its talent lies not in its vast database of accurate information, but in a web of assumptions and effective storytelling. So if you're a fan of fiction, maybe a chatbot can be your best friend. Let me give you another example. According to a report, ChatGPT loves making stuff up. An economist asked the chatbot about the most cited economics paper of all time. ChatGPT gave quite a convincing answer. It quoted a paper which was cited more than 30,000 times. It added that the article was a classic in the field of economic history. Now that's all great, except one thing. The paper does not exist. What happened? Well, according to the know-it-all, the answer was plausible. Not the truth, but plausible. It gets worse. Have you heard of Gita GPT? It is reportedly a chatbot developed in partnership with Google. It takes references from the Bhagavad Gita to generate answers for life issues. Yes, an AI chatbot will be your life coach, your therapist, or worse, your moral compass. Thankfully, Gita GPT is down for maintenance at the moment. Why is the technology a software which is not thoroughly tested being allowed to answer questions about life? Why is an AI chatbot generating so much buzz and being hailed as a future when we simply don't know enough about its current risks? When its knowledge borders around plausibility instead of fact and truth? Why are chatbots being promoted, highlighted, being forced into our daily conversations? One word, greed. The greed of big companies. Don't forget, there's big competition between some of the biggest tech giants and there's big money involved. Google's parent company Alphabet is competing with OpenAI's popular ChatGPT. ChatGPT is backed by Microsoft with an investment of around $10 billion. And so, Google came out with its own chatbot, Bard. 
which is now famous only for its big blunder. In fact, such was the rush to introduce its own chatbot into the mix that Google reportedly announced Bard in a rushed and botched manner. You see, tech, company, tech companies are competing against each other and racing against time to be at the forefront of the AI-led future. And in the process, they're jumping a few crucial steps. They're foregoing necessary checks. They're unleashing a powerful weapon upon the public, which has some great skills, we can't deny that. But all these skills are not ethical, factual, or even correct. They say with great power comes great responsibility. Are the, ch are the tech giants listening? Are their chatbots listening? Remember, it's one thing to ask for directions for the nearest fuel pump from your chatbot, but if you're asking for a sense of direction in your life, you better hope the chatbot is not staring away from reality. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.